Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another CSS tutorial where we'll be learning how to create an um, image of an owl. And um, I've added a simple animation here. Now, this uh, image is inspired from a flat icon. And if you search for owl, you can see it over here. So, this is the <coughs> This is the image we'll try to recreate over here. And like I said, we're gonna add a simple animation for the head. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we start with the container owl and let me add the default styles. For the background, okay. Okay, so the container is a yellow circle in the center. Uh, okay, so we're gonna start with the head of the ball of the owl. And inside of the head, so we're gonna have these ears, the two eyes, and the beak. So at, I'll add the classes right now. Okay, so the ears will be just a, a, a circle and actually the ears will be a, the shadow of the circle. So the circle will be hidden, we'll just use the shadow of the circle. <coughs> Actually, let's first do the head. Okay, and we'll add the animation in the end for the head. So let me actually let you guys show you what is happening. So this is the 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 circle 
we're not going to use a background but we will use a box shadow Here's the, the circle, and when we add the box shadow, these will be actually the uh, these will be the ears that we'll put on top of the head. So we'll hide the, the background, and we'll just use this uh, box shadow as the ears. So we'll just center them. And there we have them. So let's do the eyes now. So let's do the first eye first. So you guys see what's going on. So we'll let down. Box shadow. So here are the two inner circles. So on this one, and this is the outer circle. And then we'll add another box shadow on top of the on top of this circle here. So the white circle we'll add now. Okay, so this is the first one. Actually, let's position it first. Let me the both eyes. And now we're gonna add these uh, these white dots inside of the inside of the eye, and we we'll use the uh, the before and after. Okay, and we're ready with the eyes. Now we're gonna add the beak. Now for the bore, uh, for the uh, for the beak, we actually. We can't do it exactly like <coughs> like this. 
it will be a little bit rounded in the corner but that's okay behind the eyes uh, okay okay so uh, now this is the body and these are the these are the the wings so body here and then the wings uh, so the wings will be just a circle that will be behind the body and that's one that's how we'll achieve these uh, these shapes So this will be the we'll put the, the body on top of the wings. Inside of the body, we're gonna place these feathers. So inside of the body diff, a lot feathers, and uh, each feather will be like a row. So row one, row two, and row three. So these are the three rows of feathers that we have here. So they over here we can see them but we'll place them on the on the body right now for each row. So 
one this is the first the first one and then we use the box shadow to add the second and the third of the first row and let me copy this we just inherit oh no we can do this one so this is the second one and the third will be 80 pixels okay so we'll do the same for the, the other rows Lastly, we need to add the legs. And the second leg will be a box shot over the first one. Uh, and there we have it. The the owl is ready. Now the only thing we want to do is we want to add an animation for the head. So uh, okay, here's the head. And I'll call the animation tilt four seconds, two seconds delay, infinite. So this will move the head down. Maybe I need to add the uh... okay. So twenty percent will keep the head at twenty pixel down and then we'll rotate it. So we'll keep it till the 60% the same thing and then at 70% we'll bring it back to normal. Here, 
one just that. Okay, this should be 20 pixels here. Okay, so it tilts, rotates, and then moves back up. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.